Hi, it's Mark from Saffrock Studios. Today we're going to take a look at adding additional cymbal sounds to the already stock drum kit templates found in Logic Pro X. I found that most of the templates don't include splash or china cymbals, so we're going to add those china and splash cymbals to the already stock drum kit of the SoCal Producer Kit. So let's get started. We'll open up the software instrument just as usual. So we'll go to drum kit and we'll go to producer kits and we go to SoCal. Now I'm using producer kit because it gives you a little bit more options on mix down. The overall samples are exactly the same as they are in the two track output, but it just takes up a bit more processing power because it separates the individual channel strips out. So we can have a look here. We've got the single instrument of SoCal, but that's broken down into the various channels for the overheads, the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, etc. So for mix down options, it's a little bit more versatile. So we'll use that. Now, I'm also going to do my best to use as much stock stuff as possible. I don't want to have to build a drum kit from scratch when I'm really happy with everything they've got there. I just want to add to it. So that's the, the kind of methodology we're going to apply here. So we've got our stock drum kit and it sounds like this. Absolutely fine as a drum kit. We have the symbols in here of the hi-hats. We have our crash cymbals, and we have our ride cymbals. Absolutely fine, but there are no splash or chinas. There's also a load of blank space. So for instance, G2, B flat two, and C3 are all blank, along with a load of the upper keys in the upper register. So there's loads of space for you to add additional samples as you wish. Now to fill it in these blanks, we're going to use the EXS24 sampler. So we're gonna to need to load a channel strip with that loaded. So let's go to plus, we'll empty channel strip and create. Go and move this to the top. The reason why I'm gonna move it to the top will appear later. Uh, but then we have a look at this and we go input EXS24 sampler in stereo mode. Now that's all loaded up, it's all ready for us to start building. By default, this sampler loads up with a sort of almost test tone type sound. It's a sawtooth, simple sort of bass or lead tone, depending on how you want to use it. Uh, you don't have to unload it, it's just part there as default. So uh, in the instrument listings, there are a load of drum kits and some of those drum kits include those sample sounds that we want to add to the SoCal kit. So there are samples already existing for splash and China cymbals. So let's go and build it. Let's open up the drums and percussion, acoustic drum kits, and we're going to load up the studio tool kit. Now the studio tool kit has a load of kick drums and snares that you can use separately if you wish, but right up the top, on F5 and F sharp five are two wonderful splashes. So we're gonna take a look at the edit mode and you'll notice that most of the individual instrument clusters are grouped in these folders over here. So let's go and take a look through them and we shall find the splash symbols somewhere. Now we've got crash, splash, there we go. So these two folders contain the individual samples that will be triggered from those two keys, the F and the F sharp. Now, unfortunately, somewhere along the lines, they got labeled in the default package incorrectly. So when you look at it, you see splash A5 and splash G sharp five. But for instance, G sharp five is not being triggered off of G sharp five, it's being triggered off of F5, and A5 is being triggered off of F sharp five. So labeled a little bit wrong, we'll let them off, it's absolutely fine. We can just now extract those two folders and we're going to build a new instrument. So go to the two separate folders, hold down the shift key and select both folders and go command C. Good stuff, so now, now copied into the clipboard. Uh, we now need to build a new blank instrument. So what we'll do is we close down that edit window and we're gonna to go to no instrument. So that's unloaded the Studio Toolkit sound and made a blank instrument again. So if we click edit, all of those sample lists have now gone. We can now click into the point where the folders were and we paste in those two folders. Now those two folders have individually, we've got four samples in one and four samples in the other. 
both still set to those two separate keys. We have the F5 and the F sharp 5. Now let's think about where the China symbols are. So I'm going to leave this pane open, but I'm just going to click back onto the actual sampler screen and I'm going to load a different drum kit. So let's go to drums and percussion, acoustic drum kits, and I'm going to go to the studio heavy kit. And I happen to know that there is a lovely China symbol found on G2. And there's a splash symbol that is found on A2. Now, individually, they're fine, but I like to play them together. It's a little bit more horrible, which for me is what I want from a China symbol. So I'm going to take both those samples. So let's go and click edit again. And it's opened up the Studio Heavy Kit instrument editor this time. And we can go through and we can see here is the Splash China, which is triggering off the G2. So that's this sample. So I'm going to copy that. Command C. And notice I didn't close our custom instrument. Oh. Just down there. Why is that not copying? Let's try that one again. Command C, back in, and B. There we go. So we need the other symbol, which I believe is somewhere down here. Um, where are we? Crash symbol. There we go. So A2, that's what we've got there. So I'm going to take that one, Command C, and over to our instrument and paste it in there. So now you can see that we have our four different symbol tones preloaded into our custom instrument. Now the actual sampler is still loaded with the Studio Heavy Kit. So we want to just sort of get rid of that a little bit. And we just close that down. And we're going to click back where it says on the menu, the listing of the uh, instrument loaded. And we're going to click at the bottom instrument. It might be hashtag 2224. Uh, that's generally the first instrument that it gives us a default holding name. So that has now loaded our four samples back in. So everything is blank apart from G2, A2 and F5 and F sharp 5. So let's go and give that a save. So we're now going to actually create our first and name the, uh, the sample setup we've got here. So you go to instrument, save as and we shall give that a name of additional symbols for SoCal. There we go. Right, good stuff. Now, if we think about something I showed earlier, there were a lot of blanks in the SoCal kit. So there were blanks on G2, there were blanks on B flat 2, and blanks on C3. Now, what I want to do is put the splash symbols onto the G and the C, and I want the China symbol and the other crash symbol together on the B flat. Now, down at the bottom of this instrument editor, we can see that we have the various samples all loaded up. You might be wondering why there's multiple samples. They trigger off different velocities. So if I was to show the velocities, for instance, we can see that in the splash, that one particular sample audio file is triggered between 0 to 50, a second one between 85 and 51, 110 and 88, and then a full full velocity 127 sample is triggered. We can also see the locations of them on the keyboards down here. So we already have in uh, G2, we have that China symbol. Now I want that on B flat too, just because I prefer it there. So I'm going to select all these samples and I'm going to drag them to the B flat. I also want that crash symbol to be stacked on top of that. So now all of them are triggered from the B flat. I'm then going to take one of the splash symbols and I'm going to paste that, move that to G2. And then I'm going to take the second one that was on the F sharp five and I'm going to move that to the C3. So now we have G2 with one splash. The B flat two is playing the China and the crash symbol together. And then we have a second splash on C3. Now, there's a couple of more options that we have in here. So I'm going to select both the Splash China and the Crash symbol folders that we have there, which are basically our China and our Crash that are on the B flat. 
and we can see that we have a pan option. Now the pan is set to zero, which is basically centered, and I want those samples to be triggering a little bit more off to the right. Now the values work from 100 positive and 100 negative. 100 negative is full left, 100 positive is full right, so I'm gonna put it about 92. So all of these individual samples at the different triggering rates can be issued with a different pan option, which is kind of interesting, uh, but I shall just copy that 92 and update all of the sample options there. So now if I hit the B flat, China's off to the right. Right, so we've made some additional edits and we can go back to instrument and click save. So that is now built. Now what we want to do is include that into a singular instrument with the SoCal kit. So we can close down the sampler and we have the two instruments loaded here. Obviously we've got default written in there so we'll give that a little bit more of a, a sort of useful title. We'll call that additional symbols. EXS24. All right. Now, I opened up the producer kit for the SoCal. So we have this kind of summing folder, uh, which is grouped together. And we're just going to drag the channel, which has the EXS24 sample inside that folder. So now when we play on the original listing SoCal tighter header track, both instruments are now triggered. So we have the drum kit and crash, but we also have the newly added China symbols and splash symbols. Splash, splash, and China with the pan. So it's all done for us. Now, of course, if we want to recall this a little bit later, we want to be able to save that as an instrument. So the simplest way to do that is to open your library up and at the bottom we have save. So having the channel strip already selected, we click save, and there we go. SoCal is it's the main title of the channel strip track. And we say with additional symbols. Oh, the symbols, there we go. And I click save. So now that new instrument has been updated into the user patches. So if we wanted to unload that for whatever reason, let's just load a, a, a simple piano tone. Uh, there we go, Bosendorf piano. Done. If we want to recall, if we want to recall our, uh, our drum kit that we've made, at the top of the list we have our user patches, and there we go. SoCal with additional symbols, and there they are. So there we go, that's how we build our user patch, which adds additional symbols to a current drum kit template in Logic Pro X. You can use your own custom samples if you wish, and you can build any concoction that you want as a useful instrument to suit your own personal needs. I've been Mark, Safrock Studios. Be great to see you again. We have a load more videos lined up in the future, so please give us a subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you again in the future. See you later.